Okay, so Teen Titans Battlegrounds got an update that changed all of Gizmo's moves. And as self-appointed leader of the Gizmo clique, I have to comment on this, okay? First of all, he is now a very slow man. Gone are the days of Gizmo being one of the fastest characters in the game. And, like, the one with the best fight in the game also. Now all he has is a mech, a gun, a sentry, and a dream. We should review the moves though right now. His fast attack is his mech attack. You summon a mech, and then you go into the mech, and then you shoot fire for a bit. It also makes it so that you go a bit faster too, and heals like a third of your health, which is really good. The issue is that you don't do that much damage. You do 2.5 damage like 32 times over the course of like 10 seconds, which does 80 damage overall. Which is good, but you barely hit any of your attacks, because it's really easy to dodge. I thought the mech would be something like, uh, the Imps mech from Plants vs. Zombies God of Warfare 2, where you get, like, different moves and are actually able to attack other than the fire. Maybe, like, you could click the button and you do, like, a punch or something. But, nah. You only get to spit fire for a bit, I guess. It's like vomiting all over your enemies with, uh, robot skin on it. The second move is the Vacuum Gun. Yeah, it took them a bit to add guns to the game, but they uh, finally did it. I mean, I guess Bumblebee had one before, but that doesn't count, okay? Uh, anyways, this move is definitely the best move Gizmo has right now. It does 22 damage with a 4 second cooldown. It also pushes enemies, but only pushes them towards you. you think this would be a bad thing, but actually it helps a lot of time with getting enemies in your fire attack on the mech. Which does do a really good amount of damage, because you get like a ton of bass with it. However, this attack can't really hit some of the uh, shorter characters on the map, when on the uh, mech, so you know, be careful about that. Anyways, the final move, and definitely the worst one in my opinion, is the sentry turret. Uh, you get to set down a gun, and it does damage every now and then, in a certain radius. It lives long enough to shoot 36 times if an enemy is in range, doing 2 damage in a, a certain radius before dying. The issue is that it doesn't do good damage, and it is also very easy to dodge, along with its really long cooldown. I, you kinda just like, plop it down and then enemies go into it, and then they get shot if they go into it, but they don't really do that. I thought it would be something like Engineer's Sentry from TF2, where you plant it down and then like upgrade it and such, where, and then it does more damage. Though I know that'd be like really hard to code, especially on like this game. game. Though Toxicator hasn't actually updated in months, so yeah, you should have done a Toxicator, you lazy bum. I mean, aside from Skibbity Toilet, of course, that was like the best update you could have gotten in the game. It does serve as a good way to get extra chip damage though, especially when you can gank them back to you with the gun. So you can, you know, gank them back in the radius, but up than that, it's not really good. Uh, anyways, in conclusion, Gizmo is nowhere near the power he was before, but he is far, far better than he was at the beginning of the game. He's no longer like a god amongst the evil beast boys and such, such people like that. But, you know, he is a pretty good mid-tier character, I would say. His real strengths are amazing, best damage that he can do. But I only, really see, I only really see him being good at, like, 1v1s and stuff in tournaments and private servers. From what I've seen, he isn't that good uh, in public servers with a bunch of people getting swarmed. Oh, and also he gets countered by, like, anybody above average speed. Or any character that has a good range attack. Kid Flash is probably by far his worst matchup, aside from people like in S tier or something. Kid Flash just like negates all the damage by his healing and running away. I mean, Gizmo is also pretty good at stalling with his healing, but he was already an amazing staller before, and he just got worse at stalling, I would say. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, to conclude this video, uh, I think I made it pretty clear, but I like the old Gizmo more. But, you know, maybe that'll, maybe it'll grow on me, you know, as the, uh, as the game progresses and time moves on, I don't know.